Well, good afternoon all. You look very fit and healthy today, but beware. By the time you all get to 75 years old, half of you will progress to look like this. You will have osteoporosis. Now, osteoporosis, or brittle bones, results from changes in the way that our bones are maintained over our lifetime, a process that normally requires both hormones and calcium. Now, there's a number of drugs on the market to treat osteoporosis, but none work fully well and all have their own side effects. So there's a need for novel drugs. So our team decided to investigate a novel class of drugs that act at the calcium sensing receptor, or CAR. So for my thesis, um, I studied the CAR because it's a novel, it's a, sorry, it's a key target for osteoporosis because it plays an important role of sensing calcium in our blood and translates this into the release of hormones which we need for um, healthy bones. So for my thesis, I grew cells that has the calcium sensing receptor on the surface. I tested a number of drugs by looking at what happens inside the cell. So I looked at a number of different events using various fluorescent probes. And what I found is that these drugs activate these events to different degrees. Now you might say, whoopee do, why is that important? Well, some of these events are important for the release of hormones, which we want for our healthy bones, but some of them are likely to cause side effects, which we obviously don't want. So in my results, I've shown that we have some novel drugs that activate various events inside the cells to different degrees. And so this raises a, and a further research question as to which of these events are important for hormone release and which are important, which, for, which are ones we want to avoid, the ones that release, um, cause side effects. Um, so furthermore, application of uh, my research is that it raises a question for the pharmaceutical industry as a whole. Currently, we have big fancy equipment that they're capable of screening thousands of drugs um, at any one particular target. However, our current practice is to look at only one event inside the cell. So can you imagine if we are looking at the wrong event inside the cell? If we change our practices to look at multiple events inside the cell, activated by our drugs, we might see drugs which are unsuitable drop out of trials quicker, saving precious time and money. Or we might see drugs go through trials quicker, which are more beneficial because they have less side effects. And that will benefit both you and me.